Hello everyone, this is the Mythical Dragon here. Welcome to a new game by the same Freebird Studio. That's right, new game, following along the series here. And I'm very excited because this game is actually brand new to me. I've been wanting this game for years and I finally had a little bit of extra money to pick this game up and play it for the first time with all of you today and for the next few weeks. And what's great about this game is that it's a little longer, it's like To the Moon, so there'll be a few parts to this, and it'll lead us into Imposter Factory being released very soon. And I'm very excited because Imposter Factory's been in the works for years. New, so it's sort of be like To the Moon Episode 3. So I'm really looking forward to that game, and it looks so very cool. The trailer is all like sci-fi-y and time travel -y, and we get to see Doctors Ava and Neil again, so I'm really excited for that game. But before we get into that, let's dive into Finding Paradise. I know nothing about this game. It's going to be brand new from the beginning. Let's just dive in and see what we're about to experience together. These games are so beautiful, like that sunset, gorgeous, I can't wait. Look at all the birdies. Just like the details too, they've definitely gotten better over the years with the quality of the game and yet still the same style, it's amazing. I have so much appreciation for this game. No, not the real kill! Oh my god! Dun dun dun! Run away, squirrel! No! Oh my gosh! Damn, how did they survive that crap at? At least this episode doesn't start with them killing someone. Oh my gosh. <gasps> my babes! My favorites! What the? Uh, should I just curse guys? Yeah, fuck it. What the fuck, Ava? That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. Oh, what a callback to the moon. Hope you learned something. Look, sometimes it's either us or them. I don't know what voice I'm gonna do for Watts yet. I might just keep my voice the same for him. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicted critter casualties later. Logic. And lightning. We should be arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow, only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with them every year. And then I have to eat them for ages. <laughs> That's cute. Also, can we appreciate the like very subtle animation of Neil grabbing the apple from the glove box? You can actually see the animation despite the style of game. So much appreciation for that. I love it. Apples on a Christmas tree. Huh. Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean pineapples? <laughs> oh god, Watts, I miss you so much. <sighs> I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> Did he have it in his mouth and he just was like, Pit! spits it out? You scriptwriters are amazing. Thank you for such a good game. Oh, look at the kid let's play in. Oh no! Let toys in the water. Damn. <gasps> Whoa, check out this rad bike. Why can't we go to work on these instead? 
Because we are here to visit dead people, not to get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after- Oh, sorry, I had to sneeze there. Oh, really? I couldn't tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt double. Besides, we're visiting half-dead people. Very different things. Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. All yours! Oh, we gotta go grab the equipment. There we go, grab it. <laughs> let's roll. Like a cucumber. What? You know, cucumber rolls, sushi? Yeah, um, no, that's, that's quite a stretch. Alright, we get to go. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey, kidlets! Hmm, there's a leaking, leaking sprinkling over there. Wow, there's a leaking sprinkler over there. Hi, kiddos. Hey, now. What happened here? She... She kicked my teddy into the water. His name is Potato. I love it. Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? But Ma said my bun buns are pretty. Yeah? Well, she also named it you. Oh, that's so harsh. Uh, don't worry. We'll get your bear back. Actually, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you. I got this one. Uh, okay, well, let's trust Dr. Watch, shall we? Hey. What? Huh, is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doofus. It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. They're cool because they get, they get attitude and don't care. Unlike wimpy teddy bears, they... Neil! N N Neil! That's not how you resolve conflict. Neil, what the jalapeno did you do? What? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for... Yay! You're my hero! No props, kid. In your face! Oh my gosh. This is so messed up. Justice is cold and damp, Ava. Kinda like a tuna. Oh my god. Look, she's just dancing away. Oh my gosh. This is so weird. We're just walking through a cute little park here. I maybe should have picked Ava, but that's okay. We're no, we can't go back now, guys. Oh, well. Are we going in here? I think so. Hey, we are. Good. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Hey there. This is Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. Yeah. Hope we're on time. Um, are you letting us in? I'll wait outside the door for you. What was that? What was what? 
Did you not feel the blast of ice through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, then she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. All right, maybe it's just me. Hello? Hello, may I help you with something? We can wait till you set that down. My box carrying comrade. Thanks, bro, you really get me. <laughs> My god, I love this so much. Here to fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? How did you know? This is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Ooh, that's, that's really sad. Who is it this time? Colin Reitz. Know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Damn, boy fancy, you're living on top floor. Go on, and give him the happy ending he deserves. Probably. <laughs> These people are so weird. Alrighty. Oh, there's an elevator. And let me guess, we have to go right to the button pad. Yeah, we do. Click on that. And we go. Nice. Boop, doop, 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 doop. Spouses. Am I right? Hmm? Always make the job so cumbersome. Depends on the person. <laughs> They're like an old married couple, these two. I love it. Oh, look at her! She's so cute. Uh, Dr. Rosalie, is it? And Dr. Watts, him? Yes. We're here for Colin. Of course. Thank you both for coming. We're right this way. Aw, is she sad? It's kind of hard to tell, but no. we'll see. Oh, okay, 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 act one, here we go. Tell me. What do you want to change? Well, that's a big question. That's a very, very deep question. What do you want to change in your life? Oh, this is so nice! Wow. Huh, this is a quaint place you got here. Colin's in the other room. Come with me. Right down to business. I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, cause right now I just really need this. We need. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, cause right now I just really need to put this box down. That's that's the mood, right there, my friends. But this is a really quaint little place. Oh, <gasps> look at their wedding photo. Their kissy kisses. That's so cute. Look at the office. I like this. And then here we go. Oh, Hello. You must be here for my father. You're the patient's son? Yeah, I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Why don't you get set up first? That box looks heavy. See, he gets it. Alright, let's just put the box down then. Yeah. Uh, uh. Are you guys- are you guys ready- I kinda wanna use a monotone for her cause she seems kinda cool. Are you guys ready to get settled? Set the machine down. Yeah, just give us a moment. Or oh, sorry, yeah, just give us a moment. Mm -hmm. 
is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, sheesh. But first, brace yourselves for a power outage of cinematic proportions. Oh, the power stayed on. Huh, I guess you got a more stable power grid than, other he than our headquarters. That's equally comforting as it is worrisome. You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. Oh my god. So, you two are for real? What do you mean? You can really fulfill his wish? We'll certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed because... It would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? He wouldn't tell us. He said it doesn't affect us, and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that's... that's okay. We'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? <laughs> what? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope. Guess I might have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we got time while the machine's putting up anyway. Who fetches the file? Let's go with Rosaline this time. Well, someone's gotta go get it. And that someone could be you. But you're the one who forgot it. Exactly. You want me to go back there and forget it again? She just face palms. <laughs> Oh, I love this game. I've updated the system. It's practically configured itself now. Cool. That'll save some time. Already down to business, huh? Hey, I re hey, I recognize you. It's the same doctor from To the Moon. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. Although, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lynn assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but they had a full roster at the time, so we took over. Saved their arses. Ironically, it turned out they got nothing to do today. Hmm, I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go check on the patient. I guess we go talk? Try to leave him be. Disturbances only make my job harder. Okay. Let's talk to the lady. Oh, shit. Don't, don't you have to go get something before we can get started? Uh, yeah. I'll be right back. Dang, she really just doesn't care, man. Alrighty. Hey, you should probably go get Colin's monitor from Dr. Mc... Mc or Mr. Doctor over there first. Yep, on it. Oh, for kind of love, this game's really like, you should uh, learn how to do your job better. And I'm like, thanks, game. I'm sorry. Hi, Doc. Here. This should help. Receives a remote patient monitor. Press escape to see. Excellent. Now him having a heart attack would probably give me one, too. So now we can see his monitor up here. Okay. Let's go. I would talk to Asher, but the game's already like, go, 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 go get the thing you need. And I'm like, alright, I guess we'll go get the key thing I need. That 
wedding photo is so cute though. Oh, and their little like family photos. So cute. Press Q or mouse click. No, I don't want to switch between characters. Don't tell me that shit. There's a reason why I'm playing Ava. No. That's cool. We're actually going to be able to switch between characters here and there. I'll be back, Dave. Gotta go get something from the car. Bye, Dave. Bye, Dave. From Sigmund. If you're here, then someone's time is up. Mm, Colin Reeds. Do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll this stroll with my husband and me here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. You sound rather accepting of his fate. After years, of, after years of seeing everyone around you go, it's hard not to be. But then, you of all people should know that well. No, that is true though. Oh, like there's like swans in the actual like little body. Oh, the kids got their toys and left. That's good. Explore a car. Pick the car. Beep beep beeps. Oh wow, she's like searching everywhere. <laughs> oh no. What if we can't find the file? The file isn't in the car either. That doofus must have left it in the office. Oh, Ava! Hey, Roxy. Still at the office? Yep, just waiting on the elevator. Not that you'd understand, with it opening instantly for you every time. What? That's a myth. I wait for elevators, too. Yeah? When was the last time it didn't open instantly? Uh... See? You're either freakishly lucky or... Okay, okay, for pumpkin's sake. Look, Neil forgot the patient's file. Could you help us out? Okie dokie, Pocky Loki. Just give me a moment. Wow. She's a weird one. But I love that. That game calling her out. Like, <laughs> the, the elevator's always opening for Ava and Dr. Neil. Calling us out as game people. What up? Mission accomplished. Neil, the file wasn't in the car. Fuck, I forgot at the office, didn't I? It's fine, I called Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send over a scan. Oh. Well, my office locked, but she should check the printer in the lobby. Yep, she's on it. I'm heading back soon. Oh, hello? Did you find it, Rox? Yep, it was just sitting on Neil's table. Cool beans, just scan it and... Wait, Neil's table? You're inside Neil's office. Yep, you asked me to get the files, right? Yeah, but Neil said he had his door locked. 
Oh, that girl's got her ways. Elaborate. Not like that, silly. I just hacked his electronic lock like a slice of cheese. Oh, okay. Well, uh, just get out of there and send me a scan, would you? Yep, yep, on it. <laughs> Neil's office. <laughs> you rock is the poster sign. Coffee, of course, drinks, and everything like that. Amazing. <gasps> Neil has a secret door in his office? You guys got everything else you need? Yep, Neil's setting up a machine right now. How's the weather out there? Huh? Is it nice out for a drive? It's not bad. You need help? I think I'll just come over and get you the file in person then. Um, why? Just scan it and send it over. Saves time for us both. Well, we've got no patience today and it's boring here anyway. Anywho, don't worry, I'll get there before you guys are done. See you both then! Okay, Roxy, have a safe drive. Ugh, so annoying. What an oddball that Roxanne. I agree. I gotta have her be like all perky, be like, you guys are great! Like, oh my god. I gotta be like that for Roxanne. Which means I'll be drinking a lot of water to get through this episode. <laughs> to like kind of get my voice ready. Well, it's entered automated automated well it's entered automated configuration mode. It does that now? Yep. My handiwork with the sole purpose of setting myself free to play hooky. But instead, I gotta go gather background info on the patient. Well, I'll go keep an eye on the patient. That's how you get lazy eye. Keep both eyes on him, please. <laughs> keep an eye, but keep both eyes on him. I get it. Alright, let's go gather some like detail here. Yes. About Colin. Could you tell me about your husband? Why won't you be going into his head to see for yourself? Eh, you never know when additional perspectives would come in handy. I don't know what I could tell you that you won't be able to see. Damn, girl, you're kind of not helpful. Anything I can help with, Doc? About Colin. Seeing as we're gonna go in your father's head and all, some background info would help. Well, he's a retired airline pilot and quite the people person. Worked hard to support the family from the ground up and always made time for us. Although, more recently... But recently what? Well, nothing unexpected at this stage of life, I suppose. Look, I'd rather not write out tombstone texts before they're due. Why don't I show you around before your colleague comes back? Maybe that help. Sweet. Spares me the asking. Okay. Asher has joined the party. Hell yeah, Asher. Okay. So we're gonna get a tour of the apartment. Let's go. Dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. This is my father's old cello. He played it a lot back in the days. Seems like it hasn't been touched in a while. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He usually just plays the scales though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Okay. And now the piano. An aged digital piano. He plays this too? No, this is my mother's. She used to lull me to sleep, 
playing it back in the days. We all have our lullabies. Mine's Beethoven's fifth. Cute. And, alright, that's that room. Oh, there's more! <gasps> I got to explore everywhere, guys. This is my duty here. Aw, oh, yeah, bathroom. Ooh, Ava's gonna love this. What is she- what is he doing? Hello? Code 32, Ava. Code 32! Rectify it! Nah, I don't wanna. Dang, Nabbit Neil, you know what drives me crazy when people just leave it on the counter. Put the toilet paper onto the dispenser! Oh my god, Ava. Magic word. Put the toilet paper onto the dispenser, please. Well, since you asked so nicely. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. The falcon is in the nest. What falcon? Is the freaking toilet paper on the dispenser or not? Yeah, it's there as snug as can be. Thank heavens. Anyway, go get things wrapped up. I'm heading back. Okie dokie. That is so funny. <laughs> we had a whole scene about this. Ooh, kitchen. Hello, Asher. Anything in the kitchen I can look at? Not really. Alrighty, there's some flowers to look at here, it looks like. A pot of homegrown hibiscus. Ooh. Huh. Aren't these tropical? I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of a family tradition. Cool. Hibiscus. No TV? An old parent's wedding photo, huh? Yeah, that's them. I remember being embarrassed about the picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet that they kept it so well. That is cute. The stairs we go, here we go. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. An apartment with two floors? Reminds me of a double decker bus. Most of this floor is for maintenance. We just got a little storage room cut out. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing quite a bit of cleanup. Yeah, no worries. What's this? Looks like they missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Yep, it's taped up all right. He doesn't want anyone reading it, eh? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say to leave it alone for privacy's sake. But he did sign up to become your client, so I don't know. Unseal it open. For the sake of science and love the client. Holy crap! What? What is it? Nothing. No? Nah. Literally nothing. It's just a book of blank, wrinkled papers. Seems like they were just glued back onto the spine, too. That's odd. It's been around for ages, though. Maybe whatever was on there faded? I suppose. But either way, I can't do much with this as it is. Let's look somewhere else. Okay. Let's look at the painting. Oh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. Oh? Here's the family photo album. Goes way back. Thanks. Never too early to feel like a grandma. I'll go check on my father then. 
my colleague will be back soon, so I should get the machine ready too. But I'll flip through this for a bit first. Do we get to see the photos? I would love that. Oh, we do! Oh, look at this! Oh, this is so cute. Oh, look at him being a happy dad. Oh, <laughs> they're embarrassing him. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Graduation soccer. <laughs> Going to school, I'm assuming? Oh, they're a very musical family. Amazing. That is so cute. Is everything ready? You betcha. How about the file? Has Rock sent the scans? Uh, no. She said she's coming over to bring it in person. She what? Why? No clue. She said she was bored, but something felt odd. Then again, you know Roxanne. She's always a little cucumber up in the head. Whoa, language, Ava. <laughs> anyway, I guess we could still start in the meantime. Your helmet's on the recliner. Yes. Uh, to the recliner? I guess this- or, oh, this recliner. Oh my goodness, I'm so blind. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, um, commence memory traversal? Sure, let's begin. Wait! Before you begin, could you tell me what you'll be doing in there? Uh, we're going through his memories to grant him his last wish. Duh. I thought you already knew. Yes, I do know that, but... How? What will you be actually doing? Ooh. Are we gonna get the science behind this now? Well... Uh, elaborate. We actually don't do much. It's the machine that does most of the work. Says the technician. Who knows best? The machine calculates permutations of possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. In the form of memories, of course. It's an illusion. But to him, it wouldn't be indistinguishable memories of a lifetime. However, the permutations the machine calculates would still have to be logically coherent. So it needs a starting point and a change in a key variable. And that's where we come in. We tunnel through his memories from the most recent to as far back as we need. Drawing a line from now to then. We'd then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations all the way to his past. So, in his simulated life rerun, he'll make all the kick ass decisions and fulfill his own wish. Just by his own volition? Is that enough? I'd have thought that fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. I mean, can't you two just make whatever needs to happen, happen? I want to elaborate. Perhaps, but one problem. He's not brain dead. Oh, cause he's still alive. There are a few things that uphold the illusion of reality. Illogical happenstances aren't one of them. 
And since the world still must be self-coherent, we can't do more than simply influence him. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually. It's not a cave painting. There is little need for interference anyhow. Willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life. Time changes them. This is getting a little real. Motivations come and go. They always start strong, then plateau, then fade. But in a simulation, based on the mental state of a single moment, stretched through a lifetime, let's just say that it's some powerful voodoo, man. Anyhow, no amount of volition is going to help a dead man. Shall we proceed? Yes, thank you for the explanation. I don't know what's going to happen in there, but good luck. Lux for lotteries. We're professionals. Oh my god. Ooh, sharp words. <laughs> Nerds. See you on the other side. Patient is stable and ready. Initializing memory traversal sequence in three, two, one. There we go. That's kind of cool to actually get that fully explained. I know we wasted some time doing that, but... Oh, this is kind of creepy. Hmm. Alright, this should be Colin's last accessible memory. Yeah, and check out the raining, heavy sleeper chap over there. Oh my god. Leave that memory of her alone. She's not our client. By the way, I wanted to ask earlier. What's with the helm you put on your patient? Hmm? The equipment. It looks different. Oh, I just removed the casing during maintenance, that's all. Then why didn't you put it back? Hey, that reminds me. Did you know I added a few added a new feature? New feature? <gasps> Behold! Never mind, forget that I asked. He Customization. <gasps> I'm sorry, what? <gasps> ah! Oh, that's cute. Afro. <laughs> no, we're not doing afro. I want the side part. Face? Oh my god, no. No! Smooth yet manly. Let's go smooth but manly. Socks? Plain black? Have you actually even seen his socks? Oh my god. Ah, yeah, this is so funny to me. Dinosaurs! Oh, I gotta go with dinos. Wait, let's see all the other options. Plain black, even blacker, gold trimming, dead sock couple what? Tomato pattern, one red, one gone. Mithril. Dinosaurs. Confirm. Finalize. Yes, please. Look at the handsome. Ta-da! Just why? Well, I figured if we're gonna spend so much time working here, we might as well travel in style. We? Oops, did I say we? Oh wait, that's exactly what I meant. Take your it! Neil, you son of a- <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun. We get to customize Ava now. Hair, long flowing locks. <gasps> Cute! Pragmatic bun sticks. Saucy bangs. <gasps> bun sticks. Classic Ava. <laughs> Grand mustache. Wizard spear. Regal face carpet. 
classic Ava. Let's just let's stick to clay, like classic Ava. Plain white, bright teal, giraffe print, fu fuzzy chanica? Cucumber pattern. Oh, that'd be perfect. More holes on the sock. Rainbow stripes. Rare silk. Oh, I have to go with the cucumbers because she says holy cucumber all the time. Yeah. Da 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 da. Cutie patootie. Well, that could have been worse. I guess I'll wear it like this until we find Colin. You got lucky this time. I was really counting on something more face comb worthy. <laughs> I don't want to know what you mean by that. Nice socks, by the way. Mm hmm. The current memory's position and time can be viewed by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. Alright. Oh, let's turn off world interaction before we wake her up. There you go. After all that, I'm surprised we didn't already. She's just that. She's just that. Clonk the heck out. Oh, he is out here. Cool. Hello. Colin? What the? This isn't a stable copy. Let's find one we can talk to. Oh. So we're gonna have, like, decoys or fake ones? Fake people? Fake people? <laughs> that sounds weird. So now they've really elaborated on this game further. Now you have to really go searching for... the... the actual people. Not in the kitchen, so let's go upstairs. Is he in here? No one's in here. I want to check out that bookcase. Oh, okay. Ah. Still full here? Seems like you must have cleared it very recently. Huh? This bookshelf. It's got nothing on it now, but one odd book when I checked. And that one's not here. Huh. That is weird. find this boy. I gotta go find the boy. Don't see him in the kitchen. He's not on the couch. Maybe we'll go in the kitchen real quick? Nothing to interact with. Oh, but there's the bathroom. No, can't check on that. Weird. I guess... We'll go back? Dusty cello. He's not in here either. Where is this boy? This game's gonna drive me nuts, I think. If we have to like go find like the actual people, <laughs> I think it's gonna be like, oh no guys! You're gonna see how bad I really am at games <laughs> in this way. Okay, let's go out and find him. Spooky, different. Uh, pretty sure the hall didn't look like this. Dude's so old he can't even remember his own home. But isn't the machine supposed to autocorrect these kinds of spatial inconsistencies? Well, oh hey, look. Hello? Is that the real guy? Is that the real Colin? What a question to ask. Target acquired. Let's go. Aww, but you look so nice. Meh. I like it this way better. Ahem. Bleh. Alright. 
Aw, that's not fair. I would have loved to kept them. As is. Thanks. Turning on entity interaction. Aww. Hello. Colin? My name is Dr. Ava Rosaline. I'm a memory traversal specialist at Sigmund Corp. And my colleague here is Dr. Hatton. Dr. Manhattan. You are Dr. You are Dr. Neil Watts. How did you know? Your name's Egg. This isn't what it looks to be, is it? Yes, Colin. Your procedure has started. Good. It's not just me, then. Something felt off about this place. It's as if I'm both here and far away at once. Either this isn't where I think I am, or my head's going downhill faster than I thought. More like both, actually. Heh, <laughs> fair enough. My wife and son, how are they handling it? They're... there, right? Yeah, but they aren't prancing around, that's for sure. Although, given the circumstances, I guess I'd be worried if they were. Listen, there's not a lot of time, and it's best if we get started. You are the most recent slice of Colin that we can load up. And the only relatively reliable version that we can interact with for info. So, I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. Of course. Why would I not? Good. I'll keep your state saved so we won't need to have this conversation again. Psst! We're on a save on his state! Yes, your highness. <laughs> now, in order to help you relive your life here- Whoa. Now, in order to help you relive your life here to fulfill your last wish, we are first gonna backtrack through your memories to connect your timeline. And then, we'll be able to transfer your desire all the way through to your younger self and run the algorithm for you to live your life here all over again to fulfill your wish. Anyhow, Colin, we need your help. To jump between memories, we need mementos. They're items of importance to you that connect one memory with another. Do you have one here that we could jump with? Whoa, slow down! We still don't even know what his wish is! What is it that you want anyway, Colin? Actually, I think I can answer both of your questions with this. It's... It's a Sigmund contract. The text is rather blurry, but... Nice. It is a memento. Sweet! Let's move! <gasps> we get to do this again. Yay! Oh, I'm so excited. This memento's barrier shatters by itself since it's so recent. But the next one won't be so easy. Thanks, Ava. We'll need to charge it up first. Memento, prepare. Oh boy, are we here to s <gasps> This is so different! Oh no... This is gonna be harder on me, guys. Oh, no. Can I reset this? Shit. 
Damn it. Um, how do I reset this? Like, escape. I really. Oh, wait. Aha! Got it. Sure. I think I did it. Oof, that's really rough. <laughs> Okay, now I know how that works. I will do better next time. Yikes. Okay, click. And activate. Thanks. We might come back for your help again. Alright, when we jump through here, we're gonna end the episode here, and we'll continue after. This will be very fun. <gasps> Snow winter! Yes! I'm excited. All right. Now we are truly in the game. Wait a minute. This place. It's the Sigmund guest house. Ah, where they wine and dine the geezers into signing up for the service. Sure, been a while since I visited. Looks a bit different from when I was last here, too. Let's check it out. Alright, cool. So there's like actually a guest house that they have to recruit, I suppose, these old geezers? Quite strange, but we're gonna end it there. So thank you for joining me in the first episode of Finding Paradise. I am looking forward to this story, even more so now that we're getting more explanations, there's a little bit, th a few differences from To the Moon. It's going to be a whole brand new experience, and I can't wait. So, let's save the game, and I will see you all next time. Take care!